2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 5 through 7. Listen to what Paul said in his second letter. He said, don't you remember that I told you about all of this when I was with you? And you know what is holding him back. He's speaking about the Antichrist. What holds the Antichrist from being revealed? What holds him back? Paul said, what is holding him back? For he can be revealed only when his time comes. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Did you catch that? The Antichrist cannot be revealed until something that is holding him back steps out of the way. What is it that has to be removed before the Antichrist can be revealed? It is the holy church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as long as the church is on the earth, the church is in control. Taking the mark will be a decision that can only be made during the Great Tribulation and never before. It is a willing decision to give up ownership of your life and swear allegiance to the Antichrist after the rapture of the church. Until then, the world may never know exactly what this mark is until it's revealed. Probably like a new iPhone that's been promised to be revealed on such and such a day, it may very well be introduced in such fashion. It may very well be a great promo of the next great thing. And not fully understood until it's actually revealed. But the mark of the beast will force people to, to declare their allegiance to the Antichrist or be put to death. The Bible plainly tells us that all who receive the mark of the beast can never be saved. To receive the mark of the beast means eternal hell. There is no grace. There is no forgiveness. There is no second chance. There is no backsliding coming home. There is no possible reason as to why. No scenario. No justifiable excuse. Once a person takes the mark, they take it willingly and they take it knowingly as loyalty and allegiance to the Antichrist. To worship him as God. The Bible's very clear. All who take the mark of the beast have no hope. Revelation 14 verses 9 through 11, the Bible says, Then a third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who worships the beast and his statue or who accepts his mark on the forehead or on the hand must drink the wine of God's anger. It has been poured full strength into God's cup of wrath and they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. The smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever and they will have no relief day or night for they have worshipped the beast and his statue and have accepted the mark of his name. There's no wiggle room my friend, to take the mark, there is no forgiveness. Amen. 